All right, everybody. In this video, we are going to look at how to take an image that you already have and apply it to part of your mesh based on the UV map. So my goal here is going to be the front of the shirt, somewhere in the center area, to put a logo, which I already have made on file. Now, I'm continuing from the shirt unwrapping. So I have my shirt unwrapped. So if you haven't done this one, Go read about the seams and how to unwrap it properly. And we're going to start from here. Now, this is a couple steps. It's not bad once you've done it a few times and understand the main parts. So, you know, stick with it and then you practice it a few times. So first things first here. I have my UV editor window here and I have my mesh. Since I'm only concerned with this little area here, what I want to do is I want to get rid of all this other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit... A to deselect everything. I'm going to be in face select mode. And if you don't have this face select here, this button here toggles two different modes. Just have it on the mode that you can select the faces. And I'm going to do a little border select. B. Click, drag. I have all that stuff. I'm going to scale it down with S. And I'm going to G grab it. And I'm just going to push it off to the side. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the arm. So I'm going to A, select nothing, B, border select. No, not enough. B, border select, G, grab, and uh, where the heck did it go? That's really weird. I'm going to hit escape. I'm just going to zoom out. Now I'm going to G, grab, and move it off. This area here is the image area. So if you have your parts of your mesh out of the image area, then they're not really going to be used in the map at all. So that's a nice, easy beginner way. Now I'll select nothing. I'll border select. I'll take that one, G for grab. That's my shirt. I'll put it near the middle, S to scale, and I'll make it fill, you know, a decent part for now. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. I'm going to go to my data tab because I think I'd like to save this map and give it a good name. Oh, already done from the previous video, so I double-clicked it, and I called it Pretty Good Shirt Map. Okay, perfect. Now that I got that map, that's nice. Now, the next thing I have to do is I want to set up on my model is I want to set up a material that's just going to be painted on the front of the shirt. So let's go to the Materials tab now, and I can see my object has no materials. So let's create a material here, New Material all gray perfect okay that one's probably going all over the entire object right now I want a material just for here that's going to be linked to the image so it's just like before make a new material give it a texture right that's how you put a picture on a face exact same idea here the only difference is is this texture needs to use this map when we get there so here we go new material slot New material. I'm going to name it Shirt Front Material. I'm going to give it a temporary color just to test that it's working. So, orange. And I do have the front of the shirt assigned. So, I'm going to go Assign. And you'll see it did change. I can do this in material mode. Yeah, material is probably the best or rendered. It's totally fine. And now I want to assign a texture to this orange material. So let's go to the Texture tab. New Texture. Image or Movie. That's good. Okay, if not, just go and select it. Scroll down. Go find the image that you want to use. So Open. And I'm going to hunt down here. My Blender Lessons Material. Let's see, Phase 3. Let's see, is it a nice one or a nasty one? Oh, it's a mean one. That's okay. And you'll see it's popped up. Remember, you have to be in material or rendered, right? So you can see it's showing, but it's not the right size. That's what this map is going to let us do. So let's keep scrolling down. Mapping. UV. Yes, I want to use a UV map, specifically this one. Which map to use? Pretty good shirt map. Okay. Perfect. Now, that's all set up, right? I put my material, 
onto the right area. I gave it a texture, which has been assigned a UV map. But why can't I adjust the picture? Well, here's what you do. In your UV editor window now, what you get to do is you can just go here and you can decide what you want to show behind the map. So I can say, hey, show me face three. It knows this image is attached to a texture, so it's available now. So I go face three. Hey, face three. You know what? I'm wrong. This doesn't quite do it yet. Uh, I actually have to load the image again in this window separately. So let's go open. That's a little bit annoying here, unless I'm missing something, but I'll just load it up fast enough. Phase 3. Okay, now it's in there. Okay, I realized why it wasn't showing up. I don't have any of my faces selected here. So even though I've selected Phase 3, oh, there we go. I don't know if that's a little bug in Blender or whatever, but a little weird. But as soon as I clicked on one of the faces that is attached to that texture, boom, it shows up. So you can see now the picture shows up behind. This is the beauty of the UV map. The whole purpose now is, is you can adjust this map like this. Let's select all. You know what? I may not want to have everything selected there, so let's just do this. I can turn this off. Let's do a little border select. And now I can do stuff like scale. And watch what happens on the texture there. So you see that? It's deciding. Oh, that is messed up. I'm going to hit escape. Scale. So you can see there how it's deciding what gets shown. I can even go G for grab. Just show the teeth. Just show the eyes. Right? And so that basically decides what goes and how it's mapped. And that's why they call it a UV map. You're mapping where the image goes. You can even do a rotate. All right? And you can see that's where the shirt goes. You can do any kind of editing you want here. You can go into edge mode and you could pull edges down with a grab, right? You can see it adjusting the way the image is going to be shown. But for our purposes, you're pretty well probably going to be doing fairly simple edit stuff. Now, one thing people ask quite often is they go why am I seeing so many of them when I do that that's because a texture is set to repeat if you get larger than it if you don't want it to repeat and you just want it to be the single image then what you can do is I'll just leave this big like this I'm just gonna go over here to our texture and there's one little setting here uh, let's see where it is it's image mapping see how there's mapping that's your UV then you have image mapping set it to clip okay and once it's set the clip maybe extend no come on clip this one should just let's do render here there you go I guess you have to be in the render window to see it but you'll see here if it's set to repeat, it repeats. If it's set to clip, it clips. Let's see, material mode, no. Texture mode, no. Yeah, it's a little odd that you got to be in render mode to see that change, but that's the change you have to do. Scale down, and you can see your shirt, right? So that's the basic idea there, right? You can see my mesh has gone outside the image area. That's that little bit of orange there. Anyways, those are the steps that let you do it. Uh, you basically take a material, assign it a texture, give it a map, a UV, a picture, open it up here in the UV editor, and off you go, right? It's a lot of steps, right? you got to practice. But this is the first little intro on it. Give it a go. See how you do.